My mom's oh, excuse I know, me. thinking about her when she, she's, she's at home right now, and she was, you know, she was really missing grandma a lot this weekend and stuff, so I figured it's fitting to say something on her behalf. But um, she, uh, she went and visited grandma when she was staying with uh, Jack and Dave, too, right before she died, and she... Um, when she visited, she, she said it was just the most amazing experience because she was staying with, with um, Jack and Dave in this trailer and she just had this little room back in the back of the trailer and she was in hospice care and she was just in this, like, you know, the awkward hospice care bed and but she, like, the only thing that my mom heard her say the entire time she was there, she was just like, isn't this amazing? Can't you just feel the love? I have such a nice place. I have such a nice place. <laughs> blessed and every, can't you just feel the love and that's what grandma was all about I mean every story that everyone's been telling there's one commonality with every single story and that's that that's the biggest thing that grandma had to offer and it was love and she uh, she gave it she gave everything she had to all of us and she had so much of it to give and that's that's what I think everybody remembers most of yeah that's she right she knew how to spread it around I mean she, she loved it all <laughs> And there was, I mean, there's no time that, I mean, I can guarantee not one person in here has ever felt like Grandma made them feel bad or even neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a good, not neutral. <laughs> she could drive the needle either way. <laughs> she'd, always, she'd always make you feel like... Whenever you left hanging out with Grammy, you know, yeah. whenever you got done hanging out with Grammy, you'd just be like, oh, I'm so cool. I'm yeah. so yeah. so there's, there's another story I'd like to share just to clear up um, some confusion. Um, I witnessed her third hole in one. I swear to God it happened. She, she, apparently she's told a lot of people that she got a third hole in one and a lot of people didn't believe her. The mythical she, third hole in one. Yeah, third hole in one. So I'm going to tell you the story. I'm going to tell everybody the story right now. So you all can have a mental image of how it happened too. It was uh, the day before, I don't know what birthday it was, probably 87 or 88. It was on Abby's birthday actually. We were out at Paradise Point golfing. And um, my friends and I, there were about six of us total, I think, took her out golfing. And um, hole two at Paradise Point, it was a 69-yard hole. And she got up there with her seven wood <laughs> on a 69-yard hole. <laughs> <laughs> and she, you know, she did it as Dave. <laughs> and we knocked it, and we were like, Graham, that's right at the pin. That's such a good shot. It hits the flag, it lands right behind the hole, and drops in. And, uh, and we're all like, Grandma, oh my gosh, <laughs> all just going crazy, and she just raises her seven wood up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know how it happened. <laughs> that, that's all I'm